everybody, it's Susan again with the Noonan Carnegie Library and I have another book for review for you today. Um, today we're going to talk about um, Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. Now I don't know if you've ever read any Kate Morton books, but she writes a lot of um, interesting kind of books with like a mystery to it, some gothic fiction. There's usually like a castle or an old house in her books. I always really enjoy her books. Um, they're usually a real nice length. This is actually one of her shorter ones. And um, I really love the descriptions that she uses, and um, I always find her mysteries intriguing, and I really enjoyed The Secret Keeper. This was a great book. This is about Laurel, and she. Um, the book starts out in the 1960s when she oversees a really terrible thing that she thinks is a crime, and she's young, and she kind of sees it from somewhere else, so she's not quite sure what happened, and she blacks out at the end. Then we flash forward to 2011, so it's about 50 years later, and um, it's basically the story of her trying to figure out what happened. Her mother's name is Dorothy, and they're celebrating her 90th birthday, and she really wants answers for this crime that she saw happen so many years ago. So this is basically her journey, finding out what the crime is. And in figuring this stuff out, the book flashes back to... Um, pre-World War II, and then during the war in war-torn London. And so that's what the story is. It basically goes back and forth between 2011 and then um, wartime London, which is where um, her mother was, her mother Dorothy, and she has friends Vivian and Jimmy. And so basically it's their story, and through finding out what these stories are, she solves the big mystery, and the ending of this one is so good. It's a very intriguing book, and look at this cover. How gorgeous is that? That artwork is so beautiful. That's the house, um, I assume, where they live in now, where the garden party takes place. But I just think, you know, book covers really speak to me, and this one did too. But this one was so good, I couldn't put it down. I was dying to find out what would happen at the end. And I don't want to give you any more details, because it really kind of gives the book away to give more details. But if you like historical fiction at all. This is a great book because I really love reading about World War II. I think there's so many different stories you can tell about that time. And so um, I really enjoyed this one. So if you've read this, let us know what you thought about it. Or um, if you do read it, um, do a little review in the comments here and um, we'll come to you more soon with more book reviews. Thanks for listening.